Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to be showing you how to process payroll in Myob. Now, if you are using timesheets, I made a video about how to use timesheets and how that is set up and how it flows through to your payroll. I'll put a link up above for that. And also, if you need to set up a new employee, I made a video about that as well. See the link up, up above. But for this video, we're going to assume that you're not using timesheets and all your employees, your staff are already set up. So let's go have a look. So first thing, you go to the payroll section here and you go process payroll. And we're going to process all employees for the payment date being the 1st of November. And the pay period is going to be the week that just finished being the 24th to the 30th of October. So we need to put that in here, 24th to the 30th of October to be paid on the 1st of November. And we go next. Now only one employee has come up here, Mr. Charlie Watts, because we only have one employee set up in the system. So here again, we can see our period start date, period end date, that's the week, Monday to Sunday, with payment today on the 1st of November. And we can click in to have a look here at Charlie's pay. So there is nothing here for base hourly. The reason nothing is set up for base hourly is because we have zero set up for the pay template. And I'll show you how to edit that if you want to do that. So we're going to the card file here and we are going to look at payroll details, standard pay, and here you can see zero. If we had, for instance, 38 hours here, then that would have defaulted through to the standard pay here as base alley 38. But what we're going to do, we're going to enter it here from scratch. So let's say he entered 38 hours, or let's say he actually worked 20 hours He had two hours at time and a half. And he had three hours double time. We can put a bonus in here as well. And if we want to add any other pay items, we go back to the card file where we just were. Payroll details, wages, and you can see down here, you can tick any boxes that you want to show up in your payroll. We control tab back to the payroll here and we can put in a bonus if that's applicable. Let's say there was a $500 bonus. And you can see there the pay as you go withholding, that's the tax withheld, has increased. We got some annual leave accrued here. Personal leave, which is your sick leave. So that's based on hours. So if this 20 changed to 30, then this 1.9 and 0.9 should increase as it has. And we've got our superannuation guarantee, which is automatic as well. So we're happy with that. We're going to go OK. And then we can see here, net pay 1283. We're going to record that. Yes, record. And then we can go next. Print or email pay slips. So we'll click on that. We're going to go to be emailed. And we can see here the 1283. This is the one we just processed. So you can select that and then go send email. And then you go finish. And then if you are set up for STP, single touch payroll, another window will pop up where you have to enter your name, the name of the person who is registered as set up uh, for STP lodging for this MyOb file with the tax office. And then you can send that off as well. And that's pretty much it, guys. Just a straightforward example of a basic payroll. So thanks a lot for watching the video. If you want to book in a training session, head over to the link in the description. We can come out to your office. We can do online training. We specialize in accounting software. We also do all other kinds of business software. Hit us up. We'll see what we can do for you.
Other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.